so I feel like by now we've all seen the white guy who adopted the black child. I don't know how the adoption process worked, but this video annoyed the hell out of me. Watch it and tell me what you think. I'm hoping to get this TikTok over to black TikTok. Any black parents, um, we have adopted a black baby. Her name is Zoe, and I don't know what to do for her hair. Um, I have this nothing. little brush. I have something Absolutely for nothing. moisture. It's a baby. Um, I really don't know what to use, so please, any uh, black moisture. parents or anyone who knows what to do with black children's hair, please help me in the comments. Thank you. She is absolutely beautiful. beautiful. But do they not have friends, black friends, who they could have picked up the phone and that called too. and asked about black hair? Do they have to bring it to TikTok? Is she just for show? Like, of it's course. something weird. So let me just start off by saying there's absolutely nothing wrong with a different culture or race adopting a black child, right? never a problem because if the children are in the system and they can give them a proper home with a loving family i say go for it but what i do not this is going to be my last video about those two adoptive dads who adopted zoe i seen a video yesterday and girl not only do i think they weren't equipped for one of our children i don't think that they were equipped for any child why is she there why i e e there are specific photo shoots that you can do with your newborn child that is safe, uh, it's done by a professional. Why is she all the way up there on that germy, nasty thing? How many times is y'all gonna prop this baby up and set her up to take pictures of her on these nasty little surfaces that everybody and their mama done had their hands on? And why is neither one of y'all in the picture? Like, I feel like at least one of y'all, y'all could have took turns. One dad could have been on the other picture. The other dad could have been on this picture. Why is she taking these pictures by herself? And going back to the original problem that we had, the fact that y'all are asking about how to take care of a newborn's hair in general is concerning because it tells me not only did you not do any research about a black child, you probably aren't willing to do any research about any child. So let me just start off by saying there's absolutely nothing wrong with a different culture or race adopting a black child, right? never a problem because if the children are in the system and they can give them a proper home with a loving family i say go for it but what i do not like is when you adopt a child right a child who is not from the same race as you and instead of you reaching out to maybe friends hoping that you have some black friends or even find a place a black salon in your case to take that child to to get their hair done properly because obviously you won't be able to deal with their hair because you don't know anything about their hair and then we don't expect it to know because you don't have that type of hair but when it comes to a baby for you to get on TikTok and try to ask the black community as if we owe you this what you should do with your baby that you just adopted hair first of all it's a baby what are we doing to a baby's hair and the baby's hair is so soft you don't even need to be brushing why are you brushing the hair so hard like that the head of the baby is so hard like that babies are this young they're very tender-headed their head is still closing their head is still forming to its natural shape so i don't think you should be manipulating the baby's head like that first of all now i'm not a mom but i have raised you know help raise a lot of my nieces and nephews so i kind of know a thing or two about children right <clears throat> but why are you on TikTok? Because I want to go back to how a lot of YouTube influencers are, are adopting black children, which I don't understand. But then again, like I said, if the child is in need and they can give them a good home, then by all means do that. But I believe I was seeing something about the eight passenger and which is like a white family, right? They have white children and everything. And they were abusing their children, quote unquote. Don't quote me on that. But I do know, allegedly, they were keeping the children in the basement. They were feeding them. That's what I was watching and reading. So, when I see stuff like this, and you're doing this to your own children, now, not saying that all influencers who do adopt black children are mistreating them, but when you come on the internet like this, and you are requesting for help like that, as if you never actually did your research on the child that you are adopting, and all the information that are on the internet like YouTube, I mean, I've learned so much on YouTube. I learned a lot about myself on YouTube that I didn't even know I could, you know? 
but you could do a simple research or just watch a simple video to learn something about the child that you just adopted about the culture about the hair texture about what you should do for a black child but imagine if it was like a white child would you need help doing a baby's hair a white baby's hair because the hair texture is nearly the same except it's a little bit curlier but it's still really soft all you got is just wet the hair brush the hair down and that's it sometimes you don't even have to brush the hair with the baby's hair it doesn't look like it needs to be brushed but why are you putting chemicals like shea moisture like you said you got some shea moisture you probably saw a video on tiktok that says black people use shea moisture so therefore you got some shea moisture for the baby's hair you don't need all that for a baby's head for the baby it's a baby and then i'm pretty sure i saw some videos where they were propping the baby up for christmas putting the baby up on the decoration dirty nasty decoration they were just putting the baby there as if it's just you know something to just expose out there you know so i think a lot of influencers now don't don't call me on this it's just my opinion i think a lot of influencers do hire or adopt black children i keep saying hire maybe they do hire them but um adopt black children for show because there was another couple i don't remember the name of them but i do remember watching a video where the couple actually adopted a a, a chinese baby or a asian child but as soon as they realized that the law over there in that baby's country you cannot put the child on video unless they're until they reach a certain age they return the baby they return the baby so you mean to tell me you only got the baby you only adopted the baby so you could be able to put them on your um videos so if you were not able to to use the child for content then you wouldn't hire you wouldn't adopt the baby that's crazy that's that's insane to me and i and not just white couples not just white families but i do know a lot of black families and spanish families that have children just to have content just to create content for youtube just to create content so they use their children for content in order to get paid so that is why i'm glad that they actually passed a law for children now so they can at least save the money for children just like you know children actors where they grew up and then now they're poor because their parents basically use up all their money so they're using their, those children not saying every um youtuber or every influencer who ha who adopt i keep saying hired adopt a black child is using that child for for content maybe they did adopt them to give them a better life i do hope that is the case but when i see videos like that it makes me question whether or not that's the that's what they they adopt those children for like i said do not get me wrong we do have a lot of our children in the system. I do blame the parents for having children and then putting them in the system because nothing just simply happened to you, okay? Circumstances doesn't just happen to you. You had something to do with the thing that happened to you in life, right? So if your children end up in the system, it's because of something that you did along the way for your child to end up in the system. So we do have a lot of children in the system, so we cannot judge who adopt those children so that is the reason why i say it is okay to adopt a child as long as you are actually doing it for the out of the goodness of your heart and not because you want to use those children or use them as slaves who knows you know what i mean i hope that's not the case because i'm praying to god that they're adopting those children for a good purpose like to really be a father to them a mother to them give them a loving home a caring parent you know stuff like that but not to use as content like those couple to me that's what it was given because i believe they did not get the response that they, they expected from that video because they made a video and the way he was holding that baby that baby's head was just bouncing everywhere like how Krishan was holding her baby at walmart but the baby's head had no support he was not supporting this baby's head so i'm like okay well how is this baby living like how are we taking care of this child if you did not know nothing about this child when you are adopting them isn't the isn't the adopting system is supposed to basically you know expect you to be equipped to adopt that child or do they not care they just give children to just anybody now because they move them out of the system because i'm confused because how come how come you don't have anyone that you could call or look up some videos which is the easiest and the cheapest way to do it look up some videos on youtube try to learn if you really did it out of your, the goodness of your heart you would actually take the time instead of sitting up and making a video holding that baby and the way he was brushing that baby's hair was harsh 
for a child's head that was harsh to me that was harsh i saw that i was like whoa why are you brushing this baby's head so hard and why do you need to know how to do the baby's hair? it's a baby the ba the hair is so fine it's so it's so beautiful and curly what do you need to do to the baby let, let the hair be at least maybe when the baby when the child is like six seven years old then okay and now it's starting to be crazy you know we're starting to have hair all over the place maybe then it's appropriate to request for some help maybe befriend a black person who could actually help you to do the child's hair or help you find a good black salon who's going to help you manage the hair of the child that you adopted if you really care about that child but for you to sit on the internet and basically made a video saying oh i hope this video reached the black community because i ordered a i i hired oh, damn i keep saying ordered and hired i adopted a black child because all i heard was black child why well, he could have been why don't you just say an african-american child or i i have a, a baby you know i have now i'm i have a baby and i'm i'm looking for some help because i'm i think if he said it that way it would have been taken a lot nicer than i hope this video reached the black community because i i adopted a black child and i need help doing this black child's hair <laughs> what <laughs> Is that all the child is to you? Just this black child that I have here? <laughs> I'm worried that this child's going to be referred as his black child. Oh, you want to meet my black child? Have a whole party just for the, the neighborhood to meet the black child. All I can think about is, you know that movie Get Out? <laughs> when, he find, when he first get into the house and all these white people were just looking at this black man in the white house. <laughs> and the white people, oh my God, I feel so bad for this child. Oh Lord. Mm-mm-mm-mm. That's what I was getting. Like I said before, nothing is wrong with someone adopting a child. If you're able to, you're capable of helping that child, by all means you do that. But if you're only going to adopt a child just to create content and to show that, oh, yay me, whoa me, I adopted a black child and now I'm no longer racist. Hopefully you're not racist. I mean, God, God help us if you are. But hopefully that's not the case. You know, I hope you're giving this baby a nice, beautiful,